Okay, y'all, here is a demonstration of how to place a mitten cast. So first, Ray has put on the stockinette um, over the arm. We're demonstrating this on an adult patient. However, the times when you would use a mitten cast is typically on a pediatric patient under the age of about four. Um, you would do it in instances of finger amputations or finger fractures. And you do a long arm cast with the elbow bent at 90 degrees so that the cast doesn't come off of a small arm, such as one on a four or younger year old patient. Um, Ray has put a lot of four by fours and gauze in between the fingers and in the palm of the hand to um, essentially keep it in a club form um, so that you're not getting any rubbing of the fingers or the nails. At the top, he twists the stockinette and then rolls it over so that there's a smooth finish. He's now using the web roll, starting up at the upper arm, giving a couple layers at the cuff and a 50-50 roll down through the elbow and up the forearm. He's putting additional half layers of web roll around the elbow to pad the bony prominence of the olecranon, medial, and lateral epicondyles. He's then getting a piece and um, folding it in half to make a good cuff on the upper part of the cast. And now he's going through um, the forearm part of the cast. Now this sometimes is the trickier part coming up around the club of the mitten cast. Um, he's gonna start fanning, which is when you just fold up and down, making sure that there's plenty of padding around all aspects of the hand. This part can get a little bulky. Like I said, this is an adult patient, so it's a much bigger arm than what you're looking at on a four, three, or two-year-old patient. Like I said, times when you would use a mitten cast are for patients under the age of four. Um, for finger amputations, which is pretty common with slamming doors and um, finger fractures, needing a long arm cast. If you were to put a short arm cast on a patient with a very small arm, it'll just slip right off. So this way, mitten cast, four-year-olds are curious, three-year-olds are curious, they want to look at the fracture, they want to mess with any sort of bandage. If you put a mitten cast over the injury or the site of injury, um, they're not able to access it. So Ray is going up with the fiberglass material at this point. And he started at the upper arm here, working his way up. And again, when he gets to the mitten part, he'll start fanning the cast material back and forth making sure that there's plenty of coverage around the club of the mitten cast. Um, nail bed lacerations on three-year-old or four-year-old patients, another good option is to put a mitten cast on them um, until they're able to follow up with an ortho or hand specialist. So um, again, it just keeps the injury site closed and inaccessible to the patient. Making sure there's sufficient coverage of cast material around the elbow. He is folded over the stockinette. And he is finishing up on his last cast roll. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a mitten cast from our most fabulous cast tech.